Aloha guys, happy holidays. I am back from my, I don't know, like six month hiatus. If you guys do not know why I have been away, I will link the video up above and you can see why. I do owe that video a follow up, but I didn't want to start my comeback with a sad follow up video. So I'm going to start with a video that's more of my speed and that's talking about shopping things. Come on. You know on this channel we love Hype Bay things. We love to shop. We love to travel even though I haven't gone anywhere yet. But let's hope for 2024. Anywho's again welcome back you guys. I appreciate you for staying by me. I appreciate all the best wishes, messages, texts. DMs. I appreciate you guys so much. You guys don't even understand. It really helped me want to come back sooner. But the reason why I haven't is because I needed some time to get reacclimated going back to work. So I finally feel like I'm at a good place to start again. And why not? It is December. It is Sagittarius season. And you know your girl's birthday and she's a December baby. So None of this is any birthday gifts to myself. These are just things that I had purchased again within the last six months that I've been away. So I hope you guys stay tuned and enjoy this video. Uh, before I get started, if you haven't already subscribed, why not? How about you support your girl, like this video, subscribe if you haven't already and now let's begin with me thanking nail reserve for sponsoring this portion of the video they had given me again some gel nail polishes ones that i have always been using in the past more than a year now what i'm currently rocking is a vintage black that's what i call the tone however it is called mistress and if you follow me, you know that I love Nail Reserve. Their gel nail polishes have just been phenomenal. I've been using them this whole time, no other ones. So with this that they had gifted me, I also ordered a new set of base and no wipe top coat. Besides, like I said, getting that mistress color, I also did get italian latte and i i guess at that time i was more into springy summery colors so i got ice mint so let me just tell you that i am ready for next spring summer because i also got ice queen and bliss pink um i felt like i needed this barbie pink because yes barbie pink season is over that time has come and gone however for me i love hot pink it's one of my favorite colors so i'll wear them throughout the year um, but i didn't feel like i have a pink that was a barbie pink so that's why i went for it this time and the last three shades that were gifted to me is this rainforest queen which is a sparkly green color and then I also got Morning Sky as well. So I'm having a moment with like these light blue colors. Again, ready for spring, summer next year. And then I don't have a black as well. So I also did pick up a black. Excited for my next colors. However, I am quite enjoying these vintage black ones. Again, if you guys haven't checked them out, I have the link down below and you can get some monies off by using my link. So check them out. The first thing I would like to get out of the way is I got my new prescription glasses for the year and they are from Celine. If you actually had catched my video, a vlog that I had earlier this year, I did go to Lens Crafters to check out glasses and I was able to find these but I didn't purchase them right away because I was going through so many medical things um, that I wanted my eyes to settle and um, I, I didn't want to get prescriptions and then needed stronger ones later on ended up needing to get stronger ones so um, I got these beautiful Celine shades so they are like a crystal brown and they're just beautiful. They're very simple and I love them. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, this is the new box for it. And simple. I love them. They go with 
so many things. Am I still using my Cartier ones? Absolutely. Prescriptions are not as strong on that one, which is okay because it still helps me, but these are the new news. Also, we're not going in any particular order. It's just what I see and what I'm grabbing for you guys. But the next thing here I got is from Montclair. They have a Poldo collection, which is for dogs. So I could not pass it up because I just thought this was the most adorable thing. And it is this little nylon poop bag holder. It has a little dog on it, which looks like a wiener pup very close to a corgi in my opinion so that's why i really wanted it it's in this nylon here reminds me of a, like a little prada and i'm already using it so you see there's a poop bag in there but there's room for other things too so i feel like you can actually put some treats in here as well so that's why i got it and i love this little clasp because i'll clasp it on just any of my bags or on my belt loop if i am wearing pants I did not purchase this, but I definitely thought it was noteworthy for this video because it is designer. This is from my husband's aunt and uncle, my aunt and uncle, and it is these Louis Vuitton chocolates that they got me when they went to Japan and they, I mean, these people know me so well. It's just incredibly funny. I waited and I to not, I haven't eaten these because I wanted to show it to you guys. It's only been maybe like a couple weeks since I've had it. They just came back pretty recently. But if you didn't know, Japan has a Louis Vuitton chocolatier um, and cafe or restaurant. Uh, that's something I want to experience in the future. But they thought of me when they got this and I appreciate it. But look at this. Let me show it to you. What is this brand? I have no idea. Le Chocolat by Suga Labo. I could be butchering that. I don't know. So it comes beautifully with this little booklet in... Um, I'm hoping there's English and Japanese. Oh, it says how to enjoy chocolate. Yeah, just pop it in your mouth. I don't think I need instructions on how to enjoy chocolate. <laughs> but um, if you check it out, it has beautiful epi leather, and that's going to be a dark chocolate, chocolate, I believe. And then you have it in the quilting, which I believe is milk chocolate. Now that I have shared it with you guys, I can finally enjoy it. And thank you to my aunt and to my uncle who thought of me when they got this. I think my aunt watches this video, so, or watches my videos. So, yay, thank you. Every other year or every year, I like to replace my house slippers. So I do have currently the brown versions of these. So, of course, it made sense that I got the black, oh, the black and gray pair. I, since it's December, I feel like I'm going to now start to use these. The other ones that I have are so used, so busted. So I love to replace this every other year or so. So this was great too because I got, I had like a $50, um, like a little gift card or in-store promotion from Bloomingdale's. So I got this literally for more than half off. It was so great. It's just UGG house slippers. We're going to just quickly speed through the Sephora, Sephora things that I had bought. Truthfully, I have used a bunch of them already, so they're not going to be included. So we're just going to speed through it because I don't really try too much new things anymore. I restock a lot of things, but I will go in depth with a little bit more of the things that I am trying out that is new and how I'm feeling about it. First thing, free gift. Uh, of course, I had to. It's from Sol Hua so. I haven't actually used Sol Hua so before, but I heard so many good things about it, so I can't wait to try it. It's their best seller's kit. Had to re-up on the Drunk Elephant Marula Oil. I also re-upped on my favorite Touchland Hand Sanitizer. Summer Fridays Shade Drops. So I finally found the replacement to my Tatcha sunscreen that I love but they are no longer making anymore. So Summer Fridays have been really good to me and I love that it is has no white cast. It's 
sits beautifully on my skin and it doesn't dry me out so i would recommend summer fridays if you are looking for a sunscreen another free gift that i got a uh, little charlotte tilbury it is their airbrush um setting spray i actually bought um two of the big ones during the Nordstrom sale so I'm going through that but because I anticipate traveling in 2024 um, I got a little version for that reason for points I did also get this um this Paula's Choice exfoliate um, I have the bigger version of this as well which I like got this mainly for travel you all know that I'm a big fan of Dior Addict Lip glows so i got it in mahogany and my favorite which my favorite is pink so i'm trying out mahogany so far i do like the pigment of mahogany however i would still recommend getting pink so you can lay on any other you know lip color that you want doesn't have to be dior um, mahogany is a little bit dark for me i still like it but prefer the pink over it but i am keeping both and the last thing that I got from the Sephora sale is this Sol Janeiro. This is a Bomb Dia Bright Cream. So I actually bought the body wash as well. And when I was in there smelling it, I really liked the scent of it. So I'm already using the body wash. However, when I use the body wash, I don't actually really like the smell. I don't know what it is. It just, I, I just don't. So... Um, I'm assuming I'm probably not gonna like the smell of this either. So I think this I'm gonna return I'm not quite sure yet because I've been sitting on it for so long But if I have to use it because I kept it for too long fine um, Just know that this scent smell it first um, Like I said at first in the store. I thought I really liked it. Uh, however in the shower it totally changed on me don't know if i again i'm gonna keep this and i don't know if i'm gonna feel the same i'm just not sure with nordstrom's black friday sale orbe is one of those rare times that it goes on sale there i knew i should have bought it during the sephora sale because i could have got 20 percent off instead of 15 however i wasn't feeling quite well during that time uh so i got an orbe gift set i think you'll see me undo one of these at least every year because it's so good um unfortunately the 15 percent off did not apply to this gift set because it's already heavily di heavily discounted um so it just beautiful packaging that i realize i love beautiful packaging i think it's great but i don't want to keep it so it ends up being thrown in the trash so I think I really need to be better with that, which I think I am gradually getting there. Sorry, I went off in a tangent, but it comes with a gold lust repair and restore shampoo, conditioner, and then the hair oil that I use as well. Um, I am currently going over, like this product lasts so well for me. I recently only just started using the Chinese New Year one package that's exactly the same that I got earlier this year. But this is such a great buy if you are looking to invest in your hair care. Uh, Orbe has been keeping my hair really healthy looking so i mean can't you just tell with me having it slicked back <laughs> but it has it's my hair has come a long way and orbe has definitely aided with that and the one thing that i did get the discount on is going to be this orbe serene scalp oil control dry shampoo powder so at first i was very confused with this this is actually the second time i uh the second bottle i have purchased i'm not done with the other but 15% off take advantage so that's what I did I didn't get it at first it's I would have preferred um the uh Briogeo I think was the charcoal one that I was using before however that powder really wasn't reacting to my scalp as well but this one is so I would recommend this if you have an oily scalp I do so my roots are very, very oily, but with this Oribe, it really controls it. And I actually can hold off from washing my hair even longer than I had in the past. The last thing that I got from Nordstrom Black Friday sale, which was really unexpected. I really have to blame Alyssa Lenore for this because what really made me want it was she posted a picture 
of before and after and her jaw is looking snatched and I would love my jaw to be snatched also. So I finally had invested in the New Face Trinity. So I haven't had the chance to open it yet, but this is the Trinity Plus here. And I hope it comes, yes, it does look like it comes with a dock as well. And then it also does come with these two microcurrent activators. Um, but on here, it promises to lift brows, uh, contour cheeks, tone jawline, lift jowls, and tighten neck. Everything that I want. My husband thought it was quite crazy of me because he saw this at Nordstrom on Black Friday. And... I told him it was 300 and he pointed out, he goes, no, it's not, it's 395. And I was like, yeah, okay, that's still a little bit pricey. Come sun, come Cyber Monday, it was 295. And I first saw the ad on New Face and they also had it at 295 ish, but their shipping to Hawaii was $55. So I was like, no. But with Nordstrom me being able to pick it up, I finally got my Trinity. I didn't open it yet because I wanted to share it with you guys. But I have every intention of starting it today and checking it out. But after seeing Alyssa Lenore's before and after picture from her driver's licenses, girl, I can see myself also getting snatched. Because her jawline be looking snatched. She looks lifted and gifted. And I can't wait to try this out. Also on um, Small Business Saturday, I got something from Ellie Rose. It's this uh, local business that had opened, I don't know, maybe like a couple months ago. And they're opened at uh, Pearl Ridge Mall, um, which is not a mall that I often would pick to go to. However, that's where my husband gets his PT. So when I have the day off or the time, you know, if I am available, I will go with him. And sometimes I'm, you know, off to myself, just looking around. So I got this Sagittarius necklace because it's Sagittarius season. So why the heck not? And I also got chunky earrings, um, which is not in the box because honestly, I didn't want too many boxes. I feel bad like... I'm just gonna throw it away anyway let's be honest I'm not keeping them so I got these link earrings here and I've already worn them the one con to them is that ASMR, ASMR, they make noise. that's a one con that I have to it so sometimes when I'm wearing it and I move I just constantly hear it but otherwise that looks fantastic it is plated so my ears didn't get irritated my ears are pretty sensitive so been loving these and the necklace loving him quite a lot and the last two pieces that I wanted to share with you guys is what I call personal Black Friday shopping because I personally got it from my coworker. Um, all of my coworkers love designer things so of course I landed a job with people who share very similar interests to me and they also know about this channel and I feel like I don't really have to hide from them or be ashamed and <sighs> here we go. I shopped in my co-worker's closet and um, I got one of, I got to buy at a very, very amazing price, one of her Balenciaga jackets. It is in like a uh, washed black, which currently I would like to call maybe like a vintage black wash and it has Balenciaga in the back written in red um your girl has been a little bit low-key nowadays but there's just some days when I'm just like f it out the window yesterday I wore my um infrarose with my infrarose jacket and I was just black and red Louis Vuitton out there's just days when I feel that way and days when I don't but I've been absolutely loving this jacket this jacket that barely like she barely would wear because she didn't know how or it would match with the other clothes that she wore instantly I've probably already worn it four times and I haven't even had it that long and I love how it also has the rips throughout as well been loving this jacket a bunch i slowly have been rotating back my balenciaga things guys don't start with me i know balenciaga had a lot of 
that had happened and all of that but I started which that's why I haven't been wearing it but I'm slowly starting to see it come back you know um, I'm not saying what they have done is forgivable because it is not however y'all out there wearing Chanel when she used to help out some mm -mm, I'm not gonna say it on here um, so it is what it is and I hate to say it like that but I still want to wear it because it's pretty so please don't hate me and then for the last item that I couldn't let get away which I tried but after continuing to see it I couldn't get it out of my mind okay if you follow me on my Ellis Collective page, I had sold a bunch of Chanel things and the corker that I bought that jacket from, she had a few things to sell. So I am helping her out. And of course, guys, I have been loving luxury for so long that I'm able to authenticate it myself. Um, especially if your girl can give me receipts, which she has receipts for everything still to this day, um, makes it even easier. But I had posted this beautiful patent hot pink card holder and I, from the jump, I was like, no, be good, be good about it, be good. But because I was able to help her sell some things, she let me have this beautiful girl at a beautiful price and what i had did with her is um probably no secret everybody's been doing it nowadays is i use my fendi nano chain and i use it on her and i wear her like a little mini bag oh and i just i just can't i just can't she's so cute and adorable i wore her immediately after and i'm one of those people too like I had it, but I wasn't sure about it still. So I was like, you know what, f*** it, paid her, put it on immediately. I refused to wear something that I didn't pay for. So, gosh, she's this this color is just Barbie pink. You know, the funny thing is, me and this corker are so alike. She also loves hot pink things. So when she told me she was selling this, I was very surprised. Um, but it's okay because now she gets to see it on me. Let me show it to you guys. Let me put it on. Hold on. Like, tell me that this just isn't the cutest little gal besides Miss Millie ever. She's so adorable. I love it so much. I've worn it a bunch already. And I can't get enough of her. I've had so many compliments and everybody's like, Where'd you get the chain from? And I tell her, you can probably buy it from Etsy or Amazon or something. But I just use the one that I got with my Fendi Nano. But I love it so much. And I'm so happy she let me have it at such an amazing price. Especially that jacket. But guys, that is my haul. Um, of course, there were other things that I bought that are not featured here. Because I wore them already to the ground. I had some pants from Bandy the Pink. I also bought some jeans from Levi's when they had like a sale. Um, it's a um, made in Japan pair. No, sorry. It is a sal salvage pair. Um, you'll see it probably in one of my upcoming videos. But that's just the ones that I are presentable to show to you at the moment but guys thank you so much for checking out this haul video you guys know i love you and appreciate you guys so much for sticking by and if you guys again have not already subscribed why not right now is the time hit that button check me off because it is december season y'all i still gotta think about my birthday wish list even though it might be a little bit late because i just my mood for shopping is just like this um i've been focusing just more on Christmas shopping for everybody else, which I am pretty, uh, I guess, 50% done, if you want to say. And um, keep a lookout. If you haven't followed my Ellis Collective, please do, because I do have a couple more things that are going to be listed very soon. I just need to wait for beautiful natural lighting, which is not happening, because it's the weather forecast for the next couple days are just 
not that great so whenever the weather is better i'll get better pictures but anyways off on tangent again thank you so much you guys i love and appreciate you bye